as I unfold this moment of prayer, I want to uh, tell you a story that I heard from Pastor Steve Merle, the president of Every Nation. Steve talked about a moment when he one day was uh, left during a, I believe it was a baseball match, and he was left as a little boy by the bus and couldn't find his way home. And he was walking alone, it was getting dark, and he was getting afraid of the, the time and the moment, trying to figure out, was he in the right street? Was he going home in the right place? And he was wondering, he was still in step to get to home, to where he was going. And he said in his story that he, he realized that what would have been different if he realized or he had his father with him? And that's, it would be a lot different. The fear would be gone, the direction would be right. If you got hungry, you know there'll be provision. And that's what Jesus meant when he said, you then should pray like this, our Father. What that means is, God, I'm, I'm declaring your presence over my life, that maybe I'm alone, maybe I feel afraid. And, and there's nothing wrong with, with being having a, a little bit of fear, but when you have that fear and you put your hand in God's hand and know that his presence is there, the fear is eradicated. And that's what you want to do. You want to take the moment, even right now, to acknowledge his presence. That's all it takes. And it happens anytime, anywhere, and it happens all the time. When you declare God's presence over your life, you begin to enter the realms of prayer. But prayer doesn't end there. He says in heaven, this would be the meaning of preeminence, where God is preeminent over all things. These days, when you look at life, uh, one of the most... Uh, common things that are probably being used on a daily basis these days is the microscope. The microscope is a piece of equipment that magnifies little things into big things. For instance, the COVID virus. It magnifies it and gets you to see if it's an ugly thing. It's a scary thing. There's two ways you can magnify something. You can magnify something small and make it bigger than it is, or you can use a microscope to do that, or you can use a telescope. A telescope draws something that is seemingly far away and draws it nearer and nearer. As it comes nearer, you realize the magnitude of the universe and space and the planets and the God who holds all of these together. That should be what preeminence means to us. Where we're acknowledging his presence and then we're saying, God, you're preeminent. And then you say, hallowed be thy name. I want to invite him and I want to invite you to invite him and draw into his presence. Father, we acknowledge your presence in our lives. Just like what Pastor Steve said, Lord, we put our hand in yours to assuage our fears, to assuage our doubts, to know, Father, that no matter how dark the situation may be, and no matter how fearful the state of affairs may be, you are with us. And God, more than that, you're not just an earthly father who takes away our fear. You are the preeminent God who is magnified. And Father, we choose to magnify you. We choose to look to heaven. We choose to look to you and say, God, you are in control. Lord, we realize that it's bad times. We realize the situation is dire and, 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 and desperate. And yet in the midst of that, we choose not to magnify. Lord, we, 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 we thank you for microscopes that help us figure out the things that we need to figure out. But then God, there's the telescope, the spiritual way of magnifying you of seeing you as in control. And for that, we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.